everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. So today's video is going to be one of my absolute favourites. I say this every single time I make one, but it is a Primark haul. I am so excited because the last time I went in there was probably about two months ago. So I kind of went a little bit crazy and I got not one, not two, not three, but four bags of stuff. Yep, I'm crazy. Now there's still a bit of a mixture of summery bits because I went in there when it was really really hot over this bank holiday weekend and September can still be quite warm and a few kind of transitional autumn winter pieces because obviously it's not going to be long before it's getting colder and darker. Um, so it's a bit of a mixture but I love everything that I got and I wanted to share it with you so I'm just going to get straight into it now. So the first thing I'm going to get out, which will make you laugh after I've, what I've just said, is a scarf. Who buys scarves in August? But I was a little bit worried that this one might sell out or I might not see it again so I just grabbed it ready for when it is cold. Um, it's this beautiful cream chunky knit scarf with pink pom-poms on the end and I'm just so excited to wear this. I'm not excited about winter and being cold but I am excited about layering this up over coats and jackets and being all snuggly and warm and it was only £6 so I really really like that and just thought it was so cute. Um, next up is this which I've already worn and it's just it's very me at the moment. It's kind of like it look, makes you look put together but it's really easy to wear with jeans as well and some like pretty shoes or whatever but it's this floral pink top when has pink and floral never not been me but yeah I just love it um it's just so pretty it's got the fluted sleeves which I still love um really nice design simple to wear it has a little slit at the bottom which I'm not really sure why but it's there and it doesn't really make too much of a difference. It's not long, but obviously it's a bit longer at the back as well. So it's just very, very easy and light to wear when it's warm, but you could equally layer it up with jackets and gilets and things over the top. Like I said, I've taken the tag off it, but I think it was 10 pounds. So this is probably one of my favorite bits I picked up. Then what else have I got? Oh, I love this so much. So I picked up some more pyjamas. Sorry they're all screwed up, but they've been in the bag for a few days. So it's this beautiful pyjama set. Very Victoria's Secret-esque. It's more of a cotton material because a lot of their stripy pink pyjamas tend to be like a satiny, silky material, which I think looks beautiful, but I find quite hot to sleep in. So I love this fabric. Um, this is the shirt and it comes with the matching little shorts which aren't that great for the upcoming autumn winter i couldn't see them with the matching um pajama bottoms the set was 10 pounds which i think is really really good um i got an extra small in the end because i don't think they had just a small but they look quite like a nice size anyway i just wish they weren't so crumpled up but absolutely love them. Next I've got some shoes, two pairs and I'm very excited about both. So the first are these, oh there's something else in there which I'll show you in a sec. Um, so the first are these little mules. Now you may remember from my Primark haul in July if you saw that I got almost the exact same ones in cream but they were wide fit and I kind of regret getting them now because they don't suit my feet they do look too wide um, which is such a shame because they're really pretty but I tried these on in the shop and these aren't wide fit and they they do look better oh, I love them so much and I love this color that I thought I'd give them another go um, and they're that sort of suede faux suede material and they're just that perfect millennial pink and yeah they're beautiful not everything that I got is pink but to be honest quite a lot of it is I also found these boots which I just thought were stunning so I get a pair of tan and black Chelsea boots pretty much every autumn winter and then I just live in them I really should branch out and wear more shoes in autumn winter but I just reach for them every time because they give me height but they're comfortable to walk around in all day long and these were just a little bit more of an interesting take on them so they've got the pearl detail around the toe with this very Gucci-esque fringing um, and I just thought they were absolutely perfect. They've got the block heel and I just can see me wearing these so much because they'll literally go with everything. They were £16 which I think is so good for these boots. 
obviously I'm not sure how comfortable they'll be but judging on other pairs I've had in the past they should be comfortable and they have a little zip with um, almost like a little disgui disguised zip fastening down the side um, which is always good because often Chelsea boots you just have to slide your foot in but these have quite a, a high like um, ankle bit so anyway <laughs> gone on a, long enough about these you can tell I absolutely love them they're amazing so so gorgeous also I did pick up some skincare makeup -y, cosmetic stuff in there they've got so much at the moment it's really cool they're kind of dotted throughout some of these bags and this is leaking which is not good over my clothes where is this broken oh dear <laughs> this is leaking which is not good because it's nail polish remover and it smells really, really strong. So I'll show you what I got anyway. So I found the nail polish remover. Um, this is the Twist Pot Acetone Free Nail Polish Remover. It's one of those ones with the sponge inside that's soaked in the uh, nail polish remover. How many times can I say nail polish remover? And you just twist your finger in and then it um, takes your nail varnish off. And it was only one pound. So I'm going to put that up there because that is leaking. And then I found these, which I thought was so cute. These are the Rest and Revive sprays. So Revive is um, an, an energising spray, which is ginger and lemon. And I assume you just kind of spray it on yourself or in your room. Um, I haven't tried these yet. They're still sealed. But I just thought that was such a cute little idea. They haven't got prices on, but I think they're a pound or one pound fifty. And then this is the rest one, which is lavender and jasmine, which is a sleep pillow and body spray. I'll let you know how I get on with these, what they smell like, how long they last. And I've just seen that the price is on the top and they were one pound fifty. I finally picked up some hangers. I think I've got more in here somewhere. I got four sets. These are the um, like flocked hangers so they're quite good and grippy and I've wanted to get these for a long time but then I found them with the rose gold um, hangers and I just was sold I had to get them they're four pound for ten and I'm thinking of doing a big wardrobe clear out so I thought I'd just pick these up just to make it look pretty and in the end I've got 40 hangers so I'm going to try and like limit the amount of clothes I have let me know if you want me to make a video about decluttering it and then putting everything back in that I'm going to be keeping for the next season and all of that stuff quite excited about that actually so I got these they are such a bargain. And then in the rest of this bag, I'm not going to show you right now what's in it because I got an outfit for Ricky and we're going to be doing, I'm not actually sure what it's called, but it's like the Mr and Mrs buying each other's Primark outfit challenge thing. So we filmed a bit in Primark, like vlogged a bit, and we both got each other an outfit for under £30 and we're going to make a video about it. So that will be coming soon. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Then I found these, which I'm kind of a bit like, oh, because they're not going to be wearable for that much longer. I don't think they're very summery, but I just liked them. Um, so they are these trousers. I like to wear to wear to wear these quite high waisted um, and they've just got this really beautiful floral print on them they're kind of like um, you know a granny's wallpaper print but I love that in clothes the color of these the pink is so beautiful they've got lovely pockets and they're just the kind of trousers that hang really nicely I got some floral ones in my last Primark haul in black with red flowers on and they're lovely and these I think are the same style and I also got this in a little kimono jacket so I just thought I would pick these up they were ten pounds and even if I don't get that much more wear out of them, they'll be great for kind of worky days at home where I don't want to wear pyjamas all day and actually want to get dressed and look presentable. You know, they're just very comfy to wear, but you look put together. Then I got this, which was something that I love, but I didn't really know if it would suit me or how I'm going to wear it. But I'm going to try anyway. It's this really cute, again pink, sorry, like literally everything is pink today. Um, but it's this really gorgeous little dungaree dress. Um, again, it's in that beautiful suede faux suede material and it's got very big kind of arm holes. So you need to wear, I'm envision, envisioning, envisioning a long sleeve um, stripy top under this. I think that could look really sweet, maybe with boots or even flip-flops it, while it's still nice, or even tights and boots as it gets a bit colder. Um, I think that could look really nice again with a little jacket over the top. Let me know what you think. Um, 
it has the pockets on the front and then one side is this button detail this was 13 pounds and i really really like that one i also picked up this which i think could possibly go under that it's a gray sort of gray mull um t-shirt it's very soft and easy to wear and i don't know how well you can see but it's got tiny little white dots on it i got these basics for wearing under things so you know they're only how much is that three pounds and you know these kind of tops in primark they do them in every single color so that's a really nice little kind of basic to wear under things and i'll see what that looks like and also i got this to wear under similar styles of clothing or tucked into jeans i'm loving like jumpers and things tucked into jeans and high-waisted stuff at the moment um so this was just a cheap little um cream knit that i picked up I'm a bit worried how this is going to wash because it's not like super soft. It's that kind of polyester material that I think will shrink quite easily if I'm honest. But I'll see how it goes. I just obviously won't tumble dry it. Um, it's quite long though, which I like. And it was only £5. Again, they do loads and loads of colours. And I just love cream and beige and camel sort of knitted things that it gets into the colder months. So I just grabbed that. And then in here, I also picked up another um long sleeve t-shirt these are the stretch crew t-shirts this one is slightly different to the other one that one's more of like a loose fit and it's called a that one's a slouchy top and this one is yeah the stretch crew if you're in there looking it's a bit easier to know and i just really liked the kind of stripes on this they're very thin but they're pale blue it's not navy so it's white and pale blue um just thought i would pick it up again to wear under I'm not really sure if it would go under that, but it might do. Just, you know, to wear under things. And it was £4. Then I picked up this, definitely going more into the autumnal colours. Um, it's a burgundy, um, again, dungarees dress. Dungaree dress? Yeah, so it looks like that. I really like the little button um, closure detail on the shoulders of this. It's in a corduroy material, which will be perfect for autumn. Again, with something long-sleeved underneath it, tights and boots, or even without tights and boots, whilst it's still warm. Um, it has the big pockets on the front, and I'm so excited to style this and just, just see if it suits me, really, because I haven't worn something like that for ages. Oh, this was £12. And then, oh, there's still more clothes. Oh my goodness, what did I buy? So I found these. I've got quite a lot of stripey, quite a lot of pink, quite a lot of stripey, typical me. Um, but I liked these for casual days and again, wearing under things. But you don't have to because the bottom has this really cute built-in blouse detail, which I like. And I like that it's not with the collar as well because I'm not really into collars at the moment. I don't know why, I just haven't bought anything with a collar on it for a while but I like that it has that so it gives it that bit of extra length um love the stripes the navy and the white and it's got that kind of three stripe detail they are th three quarter length sleeves and yeah there's not that much to say about it I got it in a size 10 just so it wasn't really mega tight and it's 12 pounds oh and it buttons down the back just for a little added detail and I liked it so much that I saw it in pink and of course picked it up. So exactly the same. Maybe you can see it a little bit better in the pink, although it's so creased. Um, three quarter length sleeves. Buttons down the back. Yep, really, really like those. And they're going to be so easy to wear. And then finally in here, as I said, I picked up some of their beauty stuff. So I'm just going to get it all out and show you. First is this nail polish fast dry spray, which I was so excited to see for only 90p. I'm really intrigued to see if it actually works. I will let you know once I've tried it, but I hate painting my nails because I always chip them, smudge them, and it just takes so long to dry, and I don't have that time to kind of wait around. So really interested to see if this dry if this dries, if this works, because Primark are doing some really sort of cool, innovative, new products recently so that's good i also picked up a pack of hair grips i'm really glad they now do just the color like separate colors on their own so these are the blonde ones and they come in this little um plastic acrylic pot which is genius because how many of these do you, do you lose and go missing so i just thought that was perfect for one pound i picked up some nail polish like I need anymore, but these were really intriguing because they are the PS Satin Matte Nail Polish. They're in these beautiful colours, 
um, do they have names? Yes, Rose Mauve and Undressed. So you've got this pretty mauvey pink, sort of like a dark rosy blush pink and a gorgeous pale nudie pink, which I love. I don't know what the formula of them is like, but I'm intrigued to give them a go. They were only £1.50 each and they had so many colours, but I just thought I would pick those up because they're just very me colours. I found these, which I was very excited about. Um, I probably could go on about them all day because no prizes for guessing what these are meant to be dupes of. Um, I have to be honest, I have never bought a Kylie lip kit or Kylie, cos Kylie Jenner cosmetics product in my life just because there's so many good like matte lipsticks around, especially in the drug stores and even high end stores that you can easily get in this country that I've just never been drawn into it. Like I just don't feel the need, which I'm probably gonna get so much hate for saying that. But anyway, these may not even compare to the quality of those, but I thought as I don't know, then I'm not missing out on that much, if that makes sense. So I'm not gonna be able to compare but I just thought these were genius for people that either don't want to spend the money on them and the shipping and all of the costs included in buying them um, and just wanted like a cheaper alternative. So I got the Girls World which is a dark plummy purpley pink so you get the lip um, matte lipstick and the lip liner and this is in the colour Flutter which looks like it's going to be really peachy but the product looks more of a nudie pink, which I actually prefer, but the colours were a bit hit and miss. Even in the same packaging, the colours were different. They also do one called Cookie Dough, which was more of a brown, which I know is so kind of in, but I'm not sure brown really suits me. So I just thought I would pick those up and try them and give them a go. If you've tried them, let me know what you think and let me know if they compare to the real deal or not. Um, and finally, I got this. It's also in that Revive range. Um, it's a body product. It's the Lavender Flower and Salt Body Scrub, which I thought looked so cool. Um, lavender, Geranium and Ylang Ylang. Um, you just use it as a scrub, obviously, and it was £3 again. And kind of reminds me of products, I think they're called Frank or Frank Body. I'm not sure, but they're these really cute sort of paper packaging resealable I just really like the packaging basically so that's everything that I got I'm really really excited about it I love it all I will try and style some of these pieces up for you and I will probably be wearing them over on my Instagram so please make sure you're following me on there I'll leave all of my social media links in the box below so you could easily click on them and go and follow me if you would like to. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And of course subscribe if you're not already. And hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified when I do a new Primark haul. Which let's face it, with autumn winter coming up, probably won't be that long away. And yeah, that's everything. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.